Currently on 2B2T, there are over 400 accounts that have been priority banned. Many of these bans could be seen as justified. However, when you look into it deeper, this is actually ruining not only the community, but 2B2T itself. Today in this video, you'll learn why these players were banned, how mentioning unofficial 2B2T rules in this video may result in me being priority banned, and how this system is harming the server. To understand how the priority ban list became so big, you need to understand why it was made in the first place. The first priority bans go all the way back to 2019. To make the queue shorter, a group named The Book Club was founded. To summarize what I said in my History of Punishments video, these players would put books in shulkers with special text characters that would send so much data to the server that anyone who opened the shulker would be unable to join. Hundreds of new players would be unable to connect to the server over the course of days as the group would travel around spawn tossing the book shulker, renamed as a PvP kit or bedrock, and then waiting for the player to open it, which would kick them from the server and preventing them from joining again. On Halloween, October 31st, 2019, 15 members of the book club had their priority queue removed and banned from the 2B2T donation website by the owner of 2B2T, Housemaster. Although the majority of the players banned were justified, some had no role in lagging the server or book banning players, and even some who were participating did not have their priority queue banned, a foreshadowing of what is to come. A month later, No Server November would begin as a retaliation for the priority bans. To avoid the server's queue, an exploit involving alpha snowballs, known as Snowcone, would be used to crash the server or mass kick players. Members of No Server November would crash the server during peak hours, causing many players to become frustrated and less active. Fewer players would purchase priority queue, putting a strain on Housemaster's wallet. Housemaster, in response, priority banned 9 players but then cleared the list on November 26, 2019. Over the course of 2020, players who built lag machines or exploits would be priority banned but would always get unbanned after a few months. During No Server November of 2020, the members would use lag machines, Q skips, and a bow kick exploit to kick more than 500 players from the server. Housemaster would create a blacklist. If a player's account or IP was priority banned during that month, Housemaster added them to a blacklist, and everyone on that list who was online when the server started lagging was kicked, even if there wasn't a lag machine. This would also be the time where Housemaster would start muting spammers in chat, or players that promote or advertise Discord servers. Around 50 accounts were banned for lagging the server, but most were unbanned after No Server November, and only 10 accounts remained banned. Housemaster would unban 6 accounts, and only 4 accounts were priority banned on March 26, 2021. An extra 4 accounts would be added to the list from March 28th to March 31st, but 4 accounts would be removed on April 8th, the only accounts remaining overcharged. Housemaster did not ban them, instead, those accounts were banned from all Bycraft sites. This would be the final time the list would be this small. On May 19th, the list grew to 21 accounts. More players would be added over the next few weeks. And on June 20th, the list grew to 45 accounts. The list would steadily grow from June 24th to October 17th, as players were banned and unbanned, finally reaching 100 priority banned accounts. On November 10th, as No Server November 2021 was about to begin, the list had grown to 123 accounts. On November 27th, the total would grow to 162 accounts, and unlike last year, Housemaster wouldn't clear the list. During December 2021, around 20 accounts would be unbanned, but by the end of the year, the list grew to 167 accounts. At this point is where Housemaster for some reason begins to ban a lot of accounts. By January of 2022, the list grew to 215 accounts. By the end of February, the list was at 252 accounts. 
Two months later, the list would gradually grow, and on April 18th, 52 accounts will be added to the list, making a total of 324 accounts banned. Only two days later, another 20 accounts will be banned, and on May 13th, a total of 380 accounts were banned. Keep in mind that these are simply the bans that have been documented. The list could be larger. You might be wondering what rules these 380 accounts broke. Well, there aren't any official rules since Housemaster has never been transparent about them. However, a community called 2 Builders 12 Rules has created a set of rules based on the number of mutes and bans that players have received. Now, before I say these rules, I like to point out that I'm most likely going to get priority banned, and there have been already two instances when players have mentioned these rules have had their priority queue removed and banned. The first instance is from the 2B2T Times. This project was led by a player named Forsaken and his group. They would use MapArt to create a weekly newspaper covering 2B2T's community developments for the week. These map arts would be dropped near spawn and in random locations throughout the server. One day, while Forsaken was preparing to update the map as usual, he finished the map with 2B2T's unofficial rules that night. Players across the server could now see the rules. When Forsaken logged back on in the morning, he was in the regular queue, even though he just bought priority queue a week before for his main and alternate accounts. He tried logging onto his alternate account that he had just been on the night before, but it too was in the regular queue. Knowing that he had been priority banned, he made an announcement in the 2B2T Times Discord, officially ending the project. He would try to email Housemaster for the reason he was banned, but would not get a response. The next instance comes from Keylab, a 2B2T YouTuber. Following the release of a video on his other channel, the 2B2T News, he discussed current events, including the 2B2T Times officially ending the project and discussing the unofficial rules. Keylab was quickly priority banned and remains banned to this day. Maybe it's some sort of coincidence and these players were both priority banned for different reasons, but the fact that they were both priority banned around the same time by either talking or writing about the unofficial rules is weird. So to prove this theory, I will now say what these rules are. 1. Advertising in chat. 2. Talking about Walden. 3. Using lag exploits. 4. Talking about doxing. 5. Speaking unkindly about Housemaster in chat. 6. Duping items. 7. Spamming chat. 8. Using exploits to ban large amounts of players. 9. Refunding your priority queue. And 10 talking about the rules and punishments in chat. Now, these rules can cover most of the priority bans in the list. Most players are banned from creating lag machines, using exploits, or doxing. But by no means is this system accurate. It seems that Housemaster has created some sort of plugin or bot that detects when a player uses an account that has been shared with others. In hindsight, this doesn't seem like such a bad thing. But from the examples below, you can see that it clearly is. Many 2B2T PvPers share accounts. On April 18th, 2022, a 2B2T PvPer doxed another PvPer, resulting in the doxer being priority banned. This caused Housemaster, or the plugin, to ban alternate shared accounts, which ended up banning over 70 players in just a few days. A vast majority of these accounts had no relation to the doxer and didn't do anything wrong. Another example comes from Ranch a 2B2T streamer. He and a bunch of friends were at a base on 2B2T when they were all kicked off the server at the same time and received emails informing that their priority queue had been cancelled. Ranch would send an email to Housemaster, which re-enabled his priority queue. The reason for their priority queue being removed was unclear, although Ranch believes it was because one of the players at the base had an old infinite priority queue account. And even recently, two events dealt with priority bans. The first was a 2B2T wedding, which I was invited to and was pretty civilized until griefers arrived and blew it up. But only a day later, the host, many of the guests, and even the griefer were priority banned. Another event 
pit fight, which usually had 100 players joining and fighting in an arena, suddenly ended after its creator, Anime Tidai, was priority banned for no apparent reason. He tried to contact Housemaster through email, but never got a response. I made a community post asking if viewers had their party queue taken away or muted, and many players messaged me on Discord and wrote their stories in the comments. Here are three stories. My main account, along with every other account associated with my IP address, got prior banned after I used a shared account. Said shared account was used by another player who participated in No Server November, but he participated on another account, so Housemaster just banned all his accounts with his IP and every other IP that has ever joined an account that he has joined on. I got caught in the crossfire, been banned for 6 months plus, appealed to Housemaster, but of course it's Housemaster, so to no avail. I had randomly gotten prio banned despite not joining the server since 20 days prior. I did not do anything to warrant the ban, and as expected, House responded to no emails, and has also prio banned my alts for no reason at all. Additionally, an alt of mine got prio banned for building and loading my friend's basic sugarcane farm. I was following a trail to a stash for two weeks straight. When I finally found it and loaded the chunks, the server's TPS dropped to 15 and the server crashed. When I rejoined, I was in regular queue and couldn't buy priority queue anymore. Housemaster, if you're watching this, please just know we want some transparency. Over the years, I've witnessed many players leave 2B2T from server issues. The server currently has the lowest player count in a long time, mainly due to boredom of no updates and you banning the majority of players. I don't even recognize players in the tab anymore, as the ones I did know no longer play or were priority banned. The server certainly needs a way to punish players who lag, dox, or perform illegal activities, but the existing approach also bans players who are completely innocent. If you want some ideas to fix this, here is a suggestion. Firstly, create an official rule list and post it on the 2B2T subreddit or make it a chat command. This would fix the issue of transparency as players can see what they can and cannot do on the server. This post written by the admins and members of 2Builders 12 Rules sums up the frustration most players have. It seems like the admin is trying to keep the no rules anarchy experience that 2B2T is known for by not mentioning or announcing any rules, while at the same time punishing players and giving them no way to figure out what they did or how long they are punished for. We think that new players in the greater 2B2C community should know about these rules. Most people think that only laggers get punished, but that simply is no longer the case. Even the chatbots that provide lots of useful features are being muted and banned. 2B2T is advertised as a no rules server, and it's obvious the admin is trying to hide that there are rules and punishments. The player base is tired of the admin that runs their server like a dictatorship, and it shows with the player count. Most players don't care if there are rules, all they want is some transparency.